Hi, my name is Max and in this video I'm gonna show you how I extracted the soundtrack um, of Metro Last Light Red Axe from the game files. This is not a tutorial, so um, this disclaimer here. Uh, if you have a clue of what I'm doing here you will be able to reproduce what I've been doing but I'm not intending this to be uh, a proper tutorial on how to do this. Um, this should work on every POSIX, uh, in every POSIX environment that has OC info and uh, so OC info is part of Warbis tools um, and that has a C compiler. Also you need the game files of course so you should have bought the game in the first place. Um, the tool I'm going to use are the standard uh, Unix tools, um, Vim, the editor, and uh, a tool called Oc Extract, uh, which has a bug in it, so I had to fix it. Um, so I'm going to show you that first. Uh, wait a minute. Um, well, let's show you the URL. So um, Oc Extract can be downloaded on this URL here and there's a bug which I'll show you in a minute uh, and I loaded, I uploaded a fixed version um, to GitHub that you can use if you don't want to change one line by hand in an editor. <coughs> in... oh no I uh, yeah, here. Uh, here it is. In line 127, in the ori original it's gonna be uh, not line 127 because I uh, changed some other stuff, but um, uh, this program uses the variable page len, len to, uh, to um, pass through the binary files which it searches, uh, in which it searches for um, Ogwabis uh, streams. And it uses plus equals uh, page length uh, in each pass of the um, in 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 each step of the loop. But it may happen that page length isn't initialized, uh, so this line is needed to initialize it, uh, and then the bug won't happen. Namely, uh, a bug where two of the files from Metro Last Light Redux um, cause this program to run in an infinite loop. And that's not what you want because it's needs, uh, it needs... it uses an entire uh, processor core and runs in an infinite loop. That's not really what you want. So you can fix this by adding this little line here. Or downloading it from GitHub in my fixed version. So I'm gonna show you what I'll be doing. Uh, first thing to do is uh, searching for um, Ogwabis files inside those uh, binary game files. Um, uh, the, the tool Og Extract works by searching for uh, the, the magic bytes of uh, Ogwabis uh, the the um, those are four bytes that identify Ogwabis, uh s files contains whatever I don't know the specification of Ogwabis, uh and does some other checking and then extracts it from uh, large binary files like those game files here. So what I'm gonna do is um, run a little for loop on every uh, game file for uh, file in content star dot vfs um, question mark so for every game file do org extract uh, oh by the way um, org extract gets um, distri is distributed in source for uh, as source so you have one little c file and you have to compile it once using a c compiler or just 
type make and then awk extract in the same directory and it creates awk extract as a binary. I already did that uh, and I created a package for uh, Arch Linux in the Arch user repository and so I just use it without specifying the entire file path of the compiled awk extract. So I run awk extract on, the f on every file. Uh, of uh, every of those game files and uh, now let's run the loop. It's gonna take a time so maybe I'm gonna cut this out later. So as you can see it's done and it created many 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 files. I could count them uh, ll star dot org. No, no, that's not what I meant. Well, actually, it is what I meant to do. So, um, count how many files there is are, and it's sixty six thousand eight hundred forty two files, which is too many to check um, for those that are uh, to check for those that are actual soundtrack files. So, what I'm gonna do is first copy those into another location because right now it's in my uh, uh, game f uh, game directory and uh, I want it to be somewhere other so um, yeah I forgot to mention um, you can find the game files uh, if you bought it on Steam you can find it in the Steam directory then Steam apps common uh, then Metro Last Light Redux also, the same method works with uh, Metro 2033 uh, Red X. So, uh, the game files are the same and they are also using Ogwarbis as a codec. So, I'm gonna close this because I don't need it anymore. And I created some um, directory, or I already created some, uh, a directory where I will put. Um, the Okwabis files, so I'm just gonna move them over. Mount data steam steam apps common metro last light redux star dot uh, to here of course. And as you can see, uh, more than sixty thousand files are too much for move, so. Well, it's a German message, but that's what it says. So I'm gonna write a loop for that. Not pretty, but hey, for file in slash mount slash data slash steam uh, uh, steam slash steam apps common metro last light redux star dot org do move dollar file maybe yeah, like this move that I file because there are um, spaces in the in the name to this directory and done. Now this also is gonna take a while maybe. So it's finished. Let's take a look. Yeah, many files. So now what? Now I have 60,000 files and I want to find out which of them are crap like sound effects, voice uh, um, voice actors and, and stuff. Um, so uh, I, 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 uh, Criterium uh, with which I can decide if it's useful to me or not is the length of the file. And I'm not going to take a look at the actual length in bytes, but the length in seconds. So I'm going to write a for loop that iterates over all of those files again for file in star.org. And now what I'm gonna do uh, is uh, first run awk info 
Well, I'm going to show you uh, beforehand what I'm going to do, be doing. So, um, org info uh, outputs info about uh, the the file, uh, org warbis files, and other org files, I guess. So let's test out with one of those files, like the last one, 251DF. So it's like that and what I want to know is the playback length here here it's 2.442 seconds so I'm gonna use a pipe and grab to filter out um, playback length and tada playback length now I'm gonna do this on every one this every single of the uh, one of those files and output it into a file. So for file in star dot uh, asterisk it's asterisk dot org do uh, first org info uh, dollar uh, dollar file pipe grab playback length and also what I need is the name of the file so I can actually uh, find out what playback length corresponds to what file name so I'm gonna echo the file name too and done and now I'm gonna write this into a file I could do this with a single redirection, but I'm going to use T uh, so you can see what's going on. So T length dot list. So now you can see the output. Name of the file followed by, no, the length of the file, playback length, followed by name of the file. And this is going to take a while again, so yeah. So, now it's done. Now I have a file called, called length.list that contains uh, the playback length followed by the file name in another line. So I'm going to show you that with cut, which is, uh, yeah, you know what cut is, otherwise you wouldn't have been watching so far, I guess. Uh, cut length.list. And here it is. So now I want to eliminate um, this playback length thingy in there so I can sort. So let's uh, uh, pipe it through uh, SED with s slash backslash t to get the tab character before playback length and then playback length slash slash g and take a look at it if it worked no i forgot the colon and the space and now it looks as expected so i'm gonna output it to uh well length dot no i'm i'm gonna do uh, this in place so SED dash i length that list. So now it should look as expected. It's one hundred thirty three thousand six hundred and eighty four lines. Great. <laughs> um, so uh, there's probably an, a, a way with SED to do this, what I'm gonna do now, but I need um, the file name and the uh, the length, or the playback length, to be in one line. So I'm gonna use a macro, a Vim macro. Um, I am sure that there are easier ways to do this, but that's what I came up with, so I'm gonna do it. I type Q to start uh, recording a macro and L to to map it to L, and then J to 
join two lines together and uh, as a big big j not no, as a shift j not normal j uppercase i mean not big uppercase um then lowercase j to the next line and then q to stop recording the macro then uh, i can apply the macro with uh, with add l and as you see it works pretty well so i'm gonna type uh, let's say uh, 70,000 at L and now it's gonna play the macro um, 70,000 times which should be enough so now I'm done with this part so I'm gonna save the file exit the edit editor and now I have to sort it so that I can find out uh, which of those files are longer and which of those files are shorter in playback time so I'm gonna cut the file so length dot wait a minute um, yeah, length dot list, and I'm gonna pipe it through sort, which is the wrong way around. I want it in reverse, so the longer playback time get um, is at the top. So looks okay. So I pipe, uh, I I save this to a length dot sort. Maybe um, yeah, length dot sort. And now it looks like this, with the longest at the top and the shortest at the bottom. Um, I'm now uh, now I have to decide um, where to stop. I think mm, the soundtrack files should be longer than thirty seconds, so I'm gonna make the cut right here. Um, you see it's line 415 so I'm gonna use hat to to get the first 400 40, uh, 415 lines or maybe let's say I want everything that's uh, 30 seconds and more so 438 I type hat uh, dash n for number of lines 438 and length dot sort and it outputs me the first 438 lines yes it was uh, 38 of length dot sort and now i'm going to put this to long dot list and i also want the files that are um, a list of the files that are shorter which I'm going to achieve with tail dash n plus 439, which prints every line uh, from line 438 on uh, 39 onwards. So, uh, no, I have to specify the file name, of course. Uh, and um, I want to see the beginning, so I'm going to pipe it through head and it begins with this line with 29 seconds uh, 0.937 seconds which is exactly this one and exactly what I wanted to do and so I'm gonna pipe this not pipe it's not a pipe it's a redirection uh, I redirect I redirect this to short dot list now I'm going to make a, di a directory, first close the editor, um, make a, di a directory called short and copy all the short files in there. So for file in, now I'm going to use command uh, substitution, dollar and then brackets, um, cut 
shirt.list, so the list of all the shirt files, uh, go through the list of all the sh uh, um, short files, uh, do, then move them to, to the directory short, done. So this is gonna take a while again, so see you in a minute. I just noticed I made a mistake because if you take a look at the file there's not only the file name but also the playback length so I need to get rid of the playback length and that I do that by using AVK, AWK um, so I do cat um, Uh, what was the file name? Short.list. I see it's like that. Now I pipe it to AWK with the following program. It's print dollar two. So print the second line. So I only have the file names now, now and I redirect it to short.files. And now I'm going to do the same thing with move. So for file in command substitution cat short dot files do move dollar file to short done. So see you in a minute. So, I'm done. And uh, now all the sh files that are shorter than 30 seconds are in the directory short. Uh, I can show you how many those are. Uh, you have to use ls-l pipe word count lines 440. Wait a minute. Oh, I was in the wrong directory. So the short files are 66,405. And what's left are uh, 438 files that are longer than 30 seconds. And uh, you you can set the limit higher to one minute or so, but it's possible to hear through 438 files manually to check out which one is garbage and which one is actually some soundtrack file. So I'm uh, gonna start we'll see. Uh, you're probably not gonna hear what I am hearing right now, but it sounds like a soundtrack. And if I take a look at the codec, uh, codec information, it's uh, it has a bit rate of 96 kilobits per second, which isn't all that great, but it's exactly the same file that you, uh, the same quality that you get to hear if you are playing the game, so, well, whatever. There's also some other stuff, like, I don't know what this is, but you don't hear it anyway, so I'm not gonna do this here, but I, I can sort this by um, time in here too, so I can sort the stuff about useful and unuseful or crap or whatever you might call, want to call it. So that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video and aren't bored to death right now. But if you are, maybe uh, you shouldn't have wasted your time in the first place, but whatever. Uh, 
yeah, bye. I think that's it.